Hey guys, hello everyone. So I really hope that today you have brilliant mood and you are interested in how you can create easily in just 15 minutes your personal website because today we continue our theme and I prepared for you a new uh, video about uh, Squarespace. So what is it and how you can add it to templates there? Check this video till the end and I, um, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your comments, waiting for your personal opinion and check this video till the end. So what is Squarespace? I can say that this is a platform that allows you to create your personal website without knowledge of CSS or HTML, HTML and others. So you know, you don't need any tech skills to create your personal website. Here is... Um, each detail is very simple you don't need to think too much the only thing i would say you need to practice so um it offers numerous useful tools for building attractive functional sites for personal uh, business for example or just for yourself or small business use you know so users will need to rebuild their sites if they want to upgrade to the latest version of the service however so uh here actually uh, in squarespace we have three types of subscriptions so first is for 12 dollars the second one is for 18 dollars and the next one is Thirty-six dollars. Uh, you know, prices um sometimes changing, so mm, you need to uh be always um in the latest news. So you need to uh check all the information uh about the pricing. But uh, what I can add? So today we're gonna work with the templates. And okay, let's start from the templates. Uh, I can say that, you know, Squarespace has many um, variants, many, um, many lists, many categories of these templates from online store. We can check it right here till the events, till the weddings, real estates and properties. So actually you can create for your personal product a good uh, website. So, you know, uh, Squarespace, as I told you, has many different templates and you can create your personal website for if you're a photographer, for example, yeah, or if you're a blogger, professional services, local business, non-profit communities, events, restaurants, weddings, and others. So all layouts are responsive. You have to know about it and I will show you. So automatically adjusting to beautifully displayed content on desktop monitors, mobile phones, and tablets. So before choosing, you can enter the preview mode on various devices and watch a live demo with content and that we are gonna do right now so uh, for example let's do what here we have a list of templates um, and I would like to see these templates let the uh, template let's check the preview so cool thing right here that uh, in the Squarespace, Squarespace service we have three um, three designs. Uh, they are adaptive for desktop, for mobile phone, and of course for the tablet. So that is how it looks like on the desktop. We have only one, two, three, four sections. Uh, so this is for tablet, and that is for your mobile phones. Okay, so let's start with the design. So, you know, talking about Squarespace, of course, it has pros, it has advantages, and they are so beautiful, responsive design that uh, accommodate mobile screens. Um, I would say deep selling capabilities, including digital download. You can have, if you want, free SSL certificate and good help and analytic tools. Actually, Squarespace pages are made up of sections and content blocks. And uh, sections are a quick way to lay out a page without designing from scratch. So they uh, stack vertically on a page on our pre-designed containers of content blocks. So basically content blocks are the building blocks of sections. They are text, button, and images, maps, and more. So uh, in Squarespace, web pages consist of responsive sections that can be added in any order 
to or maybe customized. So on the left side, we can observe, we can see uh, the main menu. But right now, I would love to show you how you can add it, uh, your template, and just start our work from uh, editing. So basically, we've got, as I told you, one, two, three, four sections. So first one is header clicking directly to each uh, section so you have settings so you can upload a logo your logo for example you can work simultaneously with uh, the other two versions uh, so we can uh, add some elements so for example we can add a bottom let it be right here and we can check that here we have a bottom we can add some social links some elements or just we have a section of colors so we um, <laughs> just clicking directly to the colors I have variants not too much variants you know but I have some variants to see what title will be good for this template yep black but to be honest this one the first one I prefer the most so you know, right here, working with the editor, and by the way, this is not, as you see, drag and drop editor, so you are only working with uh, the section directly, yeah? And you don't have too much, you know, too much options, too much variants of these sections, but, you know, in this way, I would say that this is a pro, uh, this is a pros, this is the advantage because you know you it won't confuse you in some way So this is really cool thing that you have for example 10 15 uh, variants of, uh, of the header of some titles and that will be better for you Okay, so the next one we have you know a bottom of edit section for example If I see that it's not enough for my website I prefer to edit a section and right here we have what headlines galleries images text videos appointments some social products newsletter other thing but for example i would love to add a text let it be a text a short i would say let it be in this way okay no i don't like it to be honest uh, <laughs> yeah okay um so let's think. Okay, we can make it in this way and we can make it just uh, in one sentence. That is how I look like and that is how in, I see in my head. So we can create it right here as the first thing or the second one. We can make it bold or not bold. Oh, so that looks better yeah and we can locate it this way this way this is look like in wordpress it could sound like this way but you know it's it, that is how i see it and basically we can continue our theme we can make it small uh, medium large but this is depending on the section but uh talking about the background we can continue our thing and we can create it like okay so this one is nice okay um okay now you see so that is how you can play with these templates by the way we can see beautiful pictures i always adore a template because you know the pictures the content is high qualified uh is very interesting so i really adore these pictures you know these beautiful girls and you know they have a like a kind of animation so basically you can uh you have right here bottom of manage pause so you can manage some say okay save yeah and you can 
manage pause and this is the way how you can edit it right here so you can delete pictures or yep or you can just to add it this picture you can add some see your social images you can add some urls so everything is here highly customized so i highly recommend you just to try to work with uh this squarespace service yep so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about marketing and here we got this button of marketing so it is possible to launch mail advertising campaigns automated mailing supporting to pre-prepared letter layouts and scripts so you can create as many letters as you like as you want as you wish so there is a protection you know from subscribers spam um so actually uh, statistics and mailings drafts and even useful uh um, things and tips for you but you know everything is really um, good made right here and you have uh, and you can add CEO location some pop-up some announcement bars even Instagram stories so you can see first pace analytics section right here in marketing section is really powerful you know multi-level i would say it it, it, may, it it includes statistics on sales traffic geography of visitors product sales um sales funnel information about traffic sources and triggered search queries so the system also generates reports on the activity of visitors i mean the degree of popularity and efficiency of the forms posted on the site content search queries and everything else that affects the success of the project so um, this service Squarespace interface is stylish and attractive you can see at these gorgeous pictures yet um, it operates at medium speed and has an I would say an equally medium level of ergonomics unfortunately this is not an advantage I would say and there are a lot of animations graphic uh, tools but in some places all this does not combine well with effects with the usability you know but but everything is nice, fashionable, I would say. So Squarespace has a handy intuitive visual page editor. Similar is structure is found in many other systems. Generally, accepted principles are used here. And by the way, just you can check here. We can manage the posts. So managing the posts, uh, we can uh, create the other one. We can add, for example, the other pictures with the other projects. We can add some blanks. We can add, for example, this um, <laughs> widget, I would say. Yep. And we can, um, by the way, we can add some CEO social images. We can remove this image and just upload um, the other image. And I will do the same. I will upload one image from my laptop. So um, I don't know what I decided to upload this picture. Uh, we have image editor and let's edit it just a little. How like picture uh, we edit is usual in Instagram. Okay, so I'm um, save, so I'm um, save all the settings, yeah, and that is what we got. So basically, we got it right here, and clicking directly to manage post or adding a section, you can change uh or add elements right here directly uh in the editor uh, of squarespace editor so guys i know that it's not too much inf information for you but i try in general features to show you what is Squarespace and how you can use it, how you can work with it in your personal life if you would like to do this. So the last one thing uh, I can tell you that you have actually Squarespace has the app, a mobile app, and uh, working directly with this app, you can uh, continue to build your personal website. 
uh, just added some things to create your new post, continue uh, your work basically and, and don't be nervous if you lost your internet connection because um, everything right there you can uh, rebuild, remake and don't be worried about it. So uh, talking about the advantages, you know, um, to uh, uh, just to cut a long story short, talking about the advantages, Squarespace has many modern up-to-date templates uh, in uh, many categories and you will find your personal category you will love to work with and um, you will see all the templates so I assure you that you will get what you want. Um, you have an excellent, uh, I would say, a kernel of, um, of marketing and analytic tools, uh, flexible configuration of scripted pop-ups and banners, um, API access, the ability to add your own CSS or JavaScript code, but if you don't like to, if you don't know how to do this, of course, you can't do this and this is your choice because you know working with this website builder editor is really nice because you don't need to uh, know any coding skills so it, it, it don't need you yep in general so uh, the ability to add side co-authors you may this um, of course, you made this opportunity. Um, there is a library of extensions. I mean, in fact, integrations of paid third party services. Yep. You have, um, 24 per seven technical support. You have uh, suitable things for beginners and you have a help sections. So, um, I guess that this is the end of my reviewing video of this service, Squarespace, and uh, I'm waiting for your personal opinion, as usual, I'm waiting for your comments, what do you think about this service, have you ever tried this service, or you would like to try this service, or maybe you will uh, tell me about your favorite uh, website builder service, and maybe the next video I will do about your favorite one, so I wish you good luck, I just want to uh, thank you for your attention and see ya in another witty episode wish you good luck and bye